and welcome to Newsmakers. I'm your host, Nancy Lewis. Today we're going to be talking about Medicaid reform in Missouri, and we're with the right person to talk about that. That's um, State Representative Noel Torpy, and we're here today in the Truman Library in Independence, which you see behind us. It's um, just fascinating, and, and I hope you'll come visit it sometime. Okay, so Medicaid reform. Let's talk about it in dollars and cents. Sure. How much money do we lose, Missouri? How much money does Missouri lose in federal funding should we choose not to reform Medicaid? Well, you know, my house bill, uh, 1901, in the first year, if it was passed this year, would be a positive fiscal note to the state of $38 million. And then the second year and third year, it's well over $100 million each year. So that's just in doing the reforms and, and taking down the federal dollars. So that's just a small fraction of the dollars we're currently losing. That, that's a part of the financial picture. I, how, do, how does this affect those hospitals out there that uh, treat patients without insurance? Sure. I mean, you know, because of the way the Affordable Care Act uh, works, you know, the dish payments that pays for people who can't afford health insurance is slowly being taken away. And so hospitals, especially in rural Missouri, are really being hit the hardest. And, um, you know, if we don't do something, I, I think in probably three to five years, you'll start to see some of those close down, unfortunately. And I'm not sure what they'll do. I really don't. I think in, in Jackson County area, I think we have uh, more time. It still hurts, though. You know, staff uh, slowly will uh, turn into skeleton crews, and it's just not good for anyone. Right. And, yeah, I think sometimes people think this is something, for some reason, that affects urban areas more. But that's not that's not. No, actually, in, in the state of Missouri, it affects rural Missouri much, yeah. much harsher. Um, you know, whether you like the Affordable Care Act or don't like it, um, it's the law. And Missouri has an opportunity to actually do something with it, make it a little bit better. Uh, and it's unfortunate that there's such pushback. Uh, the Missouri Chamber of Commerce says that without approving reform, the business community will be left holding the bag on $3.5 billion in cost shifts from hospitals. Yeah, I, I think some people might be surprised that the Chamber of Commerce is uh, so supportive of this. Yes, because it's, I think it's the right thing to do. There are many conservative groups who are in favor of this, and it's uh, which I think people are surprised, but Rick Perry from Texas, the governor, actually mm -hmm. asked for a waiver to expand it to 185%. My bill expands it to 100%. I think people struggle with getting around Obamacare, right. and they just can't separate that. Uh, but this is House Bill 1901 has been, um, by Governoring Magazine, was stated the most conservative plan in the country. Uh, right now, under current law, a family of four in Missouri making $93,000 can get assistance with health care. A family of four making 23000 cannot. And that's just wrong. I mean, we, we have a wonderful opportunity here to actually get great reforms expanded a little bit and, and help all Missourians out and businesses. What's uh, the biggest misconception in about 40 seconds or so? What's the biggest misconception that you'd like to clear up? The biggest is that, well, I think the biggest one is people think that the Affordable Care Act is going to go away. It's not. It's the law. The Supreme Court seconded it. But in Sebelius first NFIB Supreme Court decision, they, they gave states the power to make some changes. And so we should take advantage of that. Well, I wish we had more time yeah. to talk about this. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> this goes way too so quickly. Thanks a lot for being today. here. And thank you for being here. We hope to see you next time on Newsmakers. Hope you learned a little bit.